it's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management. It was an exciting week on the Street of Dreams, punctuated by wild swings in the global bond and stock markets. You know, it may be a cliche, but there's some truth to the saying that the markets hate uncertainty. And it was clearly the uncertainty about how the trade and currency battle between the U.S. and China will play out that led to the biggest one-day decline and also the biggest intraday comeback of the year, with the Dow swinging more than 600 points in its widest span before closing almost unchanged this past Wednesday. There are also big moves in the global bond market as investors sold stocks and bought bonds in a flight to safety, pushing bond prices up and bond yields down, leaving the 10-year Treasury bond yield at a new low for the year at 1.7%. Now, in the prior week, the Federal Reserve announced its first rate cut since 2008 in what Chairman Jerome Powell called a mid-cycle adjustment, leaving the market uncertain about future cuts. And the market priced in a roughly 68% chance of a second rate cut in the September meeting. Now, that probability of a rate cut has risen to 89%. So at week's end, where do we stand? Well, bond yields are lower. The dollar is weaker and we have higher odds of a September rate cut by the Fed, all very bullish for the stock market, which, believe it or not, finished the week about where it started. So just like a roller coaster on the Ocean City boardwalk, the market this week had lots of ups and downs, twists and turns, and it finished exactly where it started. And like a roller coaster, the only way to get hurt was to jump off early. Now, if you're wondering, do I have a portfolio to handle these roller coaster markets? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? Simply give us a call or text, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne, and I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.